Hello, thank you for watching the HVT Wing Chun UK channel. On this video, we are going to be looking at one of my pet hates in, in using the wooden dummy. I'm also going to do a little bit of demonstration on how you can build up your short force or inch force power. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to be notified of future videos, don't forget to click that bell icon. One of my kind of pet hates when I see people do the wooden dummy uh, on YouTube. And now, obviously, I'm in no position to tell people who's right and who's wrong, just my opinion, obviously. What it's based on is the kind of sound the wooden dummy makes uh, when you're using it. Certainly when you're striking it, shouldn't really be striking the dummy, but using power against the body of the dummy. Now, what you may have heard is a saying, something along the lines of um, the dummy should only make one sound. Well, it's a good saying and I understand the point of that and totally agree with that point. Unfortunately, my dummy makes a hell of a lot of noise because it rattles around, so my dummy is going to make more than one noise. However, I, what I think the saying is trying to say is it should be a full body action. It should be the whole body connecting at the same time, including in the right circumstances, the legs, the body and the hands. The main thing that kind of gets me when I see people doing the wooden dummy form is when they slap the body or you hear a slapping sound when you hit the body. It just shows there's no power generation, no close force generation. Okay. But just as an example, and I'm going to do this softly so that there's not so much noise um, from, from the rattly dummy. So if I hit this lower part of the body here, you'll see what I mean. So you'll hear this sort of sound. So you'll hear this kind of slapping sound. And for me that says that there's no power generation, no using the waist, using the body, using the body force. For me, what it should sound like is like this. Hopefully you can see that my head, my shoulders don't move a lot, probably might move a little bit, not perfect, but there's no leaning in. This is me leaning in, this is me leaning in, incorrect, body up, upright. In Popeye where we come under the arms. So it shouldn't be this, don't worry about what my arms are, it shouldn't be. It should be this. So we get power generated from the ground upwards. Now obviously different lineages, different styles of Wing Chun are going to use this power generations in different ways. They're going to have different ways of cultivating this power generation in the Sifu Cliff way. We have the rebounding force, hit the floor, come up through the leg, through the knee, into the waist. We have contraction in the obliques, which connects our elbow to our hips basically to what we call galbega, that gets transferred along the arm out to the wrist and if we were punching to the fist but obviously we don't punch the dummy and it comes into the wrist. When I teach this to um, new students probably do this on a heavy bag so I'm just going to move over to the heavy bag to demonstrate 